again one R. Now this is our last lesson of home learning. We're going to do some science and we're going to work scientifically. Now we've included some ice because obviously it's really cold outside so we thought it'd be very fitting but it's kind of a a link from your last week's science lesson. So we're still looking at ice, we're still looking at what happens when we put something onto the ice, but then we're just going to have a look and see what happens. Okay, so see if you can notice any patterns, see if you can notice anything different, just see what happens, okay? So for my science experiment, I've got a bowl of ice, I've got some salt, and I've got some food colouring and I've also got a spoon. Now for the science experiment, so you can see it properly, it would be better to have um, a bowl filled with ice so you could turn it upside down and it would look like a dome. However, my freezer isn't big enough. Um, it's too full to put some bowls of ice in. So I've just used some ice cubes and I'm hoping that it works very similarly. So let's have a look. Let's have a close-up of this ice. It's not quite see-through. It's a little bit cloudy. Ooh, as you can see, they're very slippery. So let's see what happens. What I'm going to do... I'm going to take a teaspoon of my salt and I'm just going to sprinkle it on to my ice. I'm going to have one more, maybe two more, let's see, until it's got a good coating. There we go. And as you can see, it's kind of resting on top of my ice, but then it's also starting to melt the ice as well, which I'm sure you found from your experiment last week. Now, I'm just going to give it a couple of seconds just to see if it melts the ice anymore. Now, you can see down here, in these, these bits down here, the salt is quite thick, isn't it? But here on this ice cube, it seems to have mostly disappeared. It's mostly melted the ice. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put some food colouring on. Now, I only had pink food colouring, so let's see what happens there. It would be quite nice if we could add some different colours um, of food colouring to see what happens. But I wonder, did anybody find last week that the salt melted their ice any? Did it help to melt it? Because that's what people put on their driveways or on the road, isn't it? When it snows or when, it, uh, when it's icy. They put salt on the paths or anywhere just to keep it a bit safer. It helps to melt the ice. But it doesn't really look like my salt is really melting my ice. It's not disappeared, has it? So I wonder, I'm just going to pop you down here. Let's see if I can open... my food colouring. Oh, I'll tell you what, I think I know how they make pink food colouring. That smells like beetroot. Ooh. Sorry about that. Now, let's see, I'm just going to add a couple of drops. Oh, I'm feeling a bit risky at the minute. I'm doing this on the carpet when I probably shouldn't be. There we go. See, when we're working scientifically, even grown-ups make a mistake. We need to make sure that we're safe. So that especially when we're working with food colouring, that means not on a carpet. Silly Miss Reeves. So let's add just a couple of drops. See what happens. Hmm. I'm thinking especially in this one where the salt has slightly melted the ice cube it's taken just a little bit so I wonder if you can see there we go that's better you can see where the salt has been and the food colouring has gone into there and it's running into the ice cube so the salt hasn't melted the ice cube completely but it's just gone down in like a little tunnel almost and the food colouring has gone down with it. You can see it in that one as well, look. That's really cool. 
I wonder if you've got any bigger blocks of ice, you might be able to see it better. If you do this experiment, can you take some pictures for me? That would be really super. So I can see how yours works as well. Maybe you could make a note and see what you've noticed about the ice. See what happens. This one's really, oh, can't see my finger. This one's really impressing me. I can see, oh, you can see it down there as well. Where the salt has slightly melted the ice and the food colouring's gone into it. Okay, have fun with that one. But remember, make sure that you do it safely for me so you don't stain anything like I nearly did. Good luck. Bye.